Today I'm going to be making a very, very favorite recipe of mine, and that's called Brownies Delectable. And believe me, it's delectable. So this is a recipe, I'm not exaggerating, I used to do catering way back in the day, and this is a recipe that I probably have made a hundred times. <laughs> so this recipe is I'm gonna link the full recipe in the description, but I'm just gonna make a half a recipe today. I'm making it for my daughter-in-law's uh, lady that she takes care of. She's got kind of a sweet tooth. And then something special for my grandkids on Friday. They're all gonna be spending the night tomorrow night. So I just wanted it to be really fun. So I hope you'll join me. You're gonna love this recipe. So I'm gonna start off by softening up my butter in the microwave for about 20 seconds. To this, I'm gonna be adding one and a half cups of sugar. My sugar's kind of all bent up, I don't know why. Sometimes it just gets like this. There's a little over a cup, so we're just gonna put in like a fourth of a cup more. I'm gonna add a little bit of vanilla. And then I'm gonna add three eggs. Now we're gonna give that another stir. To that, I'm gonna add 3 fourths of a cup of flour to my brownies. I'm gonna give that a stir. Okay, and to that, I'm gonna add a half a cup of dark unsweetened cocoa. There's a fourth. Again, we're gonna give it another stir. All right, to this, we're now gonna add a fourth of a teaspoon of salt. All right, Let's give it its final stir. And that is it. We're gonna go ahead and spread this into a pan and I'll show you how this goes. All right, I've sprayed an eight by eight glass pan with some cooking spray. And all I'm gonna do at this point, now if you wanted to add some chopped walnuts or whatever you have, if you like cherries, whatever it is you like in your brownies, go ahead and add them. So all I'm gonna do now is just spread this out. Kind of looks like frosting. It's just such a wonderful brownie recipe. Like I said, I've made this in the past for catering events and I've made them into individual brownies. This original recipe makes a nine by 13 pan of brownies. So this is just half of that. Now this is gonna rise quite a bit. You'll be surprised. These are not like real flat brownies. These are more like a cake. And then we make a chocolate frosting to go on the top of them. All right, I'm gonna put this in a preheated oven at 350 degrees, and we're actually gonna cook this for about, about 25 minutes until the brownies come out firm. So I've softened up a tablespoon of, of butter. I'm gonna add a couple little scoops of powdered sugar, and to that, I'm also gonna add some more cocoa. Start off with about Maybe, maybe an eighth of a cup. And I'm gonna add a little bit of almond milk to that. Actually, I'm gonna put half and half in it. Not much though, like a tablespoon. And then I'm just gonna put this on a nice mix and see what else I need to add. I think on frosting, because it's really not a science, I'm gonna add a little vanilla, but not too much, because I need to keep it somewhat dry. I'm gonna blend this up, and then we'll see if we need to add anything else. Just gonna set this aside until our brownies are done. Now, you may wanna double this if you make a full recipe, but this is what I'm doing today. So our brownies are all done. Let's just give them a little test with our wooden skewer and make sure they're done in the middle. Looks good. Came out nice and clean. 
So as you can see, these brownies have actually risen quite a bit from what we had uh, cooked them at. Let me see if I can get another angle for you. Look how high those brownies are. They're almost to the top of that, that glass dish that I have. So they're looking really beautiful and we need to let them cool before we frost them. But as soon as they're cool enough, we're gonna put our frosting on and I'll bring you back and we'll actually give them a little try. All right, it's time to frost the brownies. Yum, yum, doesn't this look delicious? All right, here we go. So all I'm gonna do is just put a little bit of frosting on these brownies. These are gonna be so good. This is such a good recipe. And as you probably noticed, these brownies kind of settle down after they're baked. They start off really high and they always kind of collapse a little bit, but I think most brownies kind of do that, which is fine with me. These, are, This is just such a good recipe. Now, if you're somebody who typically buys brownie mix and frosting mix and all that kind of stuff, I mean, you can see this is just, it's very inexpensive. It's very easy to make this. It doesn't take a lot of work. And I'll tell you what, I think the homemade, especially if you can find some good recipes from things, are really the way to go. They're just going to taste better. They just have that delicious taste of, you know, being something really delicious. They don't have that commercial taste. And um, I don't know about you, but I just, I love any kind of a brownie cake recipe, any of this. I just, I just find all this is so good. So I have kind of a sweet tooth myself. So what can I say about that? <laughs> All right, so I've got just enough frosting to cover this recipe. If I was going to do a 9 by 13 pan, I would have doubled it, but this is more than enough frosting. It's going to be super, super delicious. And I'm going to have a little bite just so you can see that I was telling the truth about how good they are. So I can't have much, but I am going to have a little bite. Mm. Boy. And I mean little. When I say little, I mean little. So I'm going to wait a few hours to cut the rest of these for tomorrow. But, oh boy, you know what would be good on these is some vanilla ice cream. That is the perfect brownie recipe. So I'm going to let these set for a couple hours. I may even put them in the fridge as soon as the pan's a little cooler. And then I'll cut them all up. I'll kind of put them in some disposable containers that I can take to some different people and they'll really enjoy them. So give this recipe a try. You don't have to go buy everything prepackaged. Believe me, there's so many good recipes out there and this is one of them if you're a brownie fan. So if you're not a subscriber, please consider subscribing to my channel. Give me a like, a thumbs up, or ring the bell for future notifications, and I'll see you next time. Bye-bye. Are you interested in winning a brand new Presto canner? If so, go ahead and email me at the link above. Let me know you're interested in the drawing. If I hit 10,000 subscribers by the end of this year, December 31st, 2024, I'm going to give away a brand new Presto canner to one lucky winner.